Hey, 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 guys and girls, welcome to another video that I've uh, recorded. Flight, uh, the flight this time that we're going is uh, we're going to be flying from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Uh, ACA code is uh, whiskey by kilo kilo, and we're going to be flying down to uh, Jakarta in Indonesia and the ACAO code for that is whiskey India 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 and of course we're going to be taking our good old reliable mad dog MD80 this time with the uh, Japan airline uh, livery I'm going to take this about an hour and a half but uh, what I'll do with this recording is uh, I'll put it on pause for when we're at cruising height so uh, and just sit, uh, not getting bored, just flowing along. Anyway, here goes. Let's get in. Oh, first off, though, uh, weather. At active skies up. Uh, I've got the plan in. Uh, where I fly plan the map. Hit that lock to the target, and there we go. And that basically gives you an idea of the uh, the route we're going to be flying and the weather conditions as we get down to. Uh, uh, to Jakarta, yeah, a bit of cloud rain doesn't look overly bad. Let's have a look at the briefing. Uh, here we've got uh, where our weather conditions for uh, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, what have we got? 220 degrees of uh, wind, five knots, and I've got a few scattered clouds. Our outside temperature, which I'll write down, 30 degrees. And we may as well get our Q&H while we're here too. And it's uh, one, 1008. I'm not quite sure what the decision, uh, the uh, transition height is, but I'll be able to get that in a minute. So that can go out of the way. Uh, we don't need to look at uh, Kuala Lumpur anymore. We can just have a quick squiz down here at uh, Jakarta and it's uh, 350 degrees, 11 knots, yeah, a little bit of breeze around, 800, uh, 8,000 visibility, broken clouds, looks like just 2,200, outside temperature 292 and the uh, Q&H looks like it's the same, but of course that could change, so could the wind, so uh, we'll see as we go along. Okay, that can go out of the way, and let's jump inside our trusty aircraft ready to go first thing we have to do is make sure the parking brake is set which it is now jump up do our battery uh, get our uh, position lights ready switch them on there over to our emergency lights which are here put them one we get our snow, no smoking sign uh, lights on seat belts are on as again, uh, again as well Okay, bring up our pop-up menu. Uh, we're going to be working in pounds, but before we do that, we go over to here, uh, and we're going to request the GPU, and we'll put on the uh, power while we... Autopilot. Okay, we'll open up our uh, forward door and deploy the stairs. Uh, I'm doing that because uh, auto gate and SAM doesn't seem to work some reason uh, we'll also open the cargo doors up okay so look outside quickly cargo doors are open and if we go back quickly and have a look our front door should be open and our stairs extendable stairs are down okay so that's all done uh, back quickly and we can start putting in our uh, fuel and load all the fuel tanks going by a sim brief uh, the block fuel on uh, for this particular flight is going to be two double four eight four Android. Uh, our total payload for this trip is three nine three zero zero and up, and we need our trip fuel, which is a one three four six one and up. Let's have a look down here. We're under our maximum landing weight. We need to worry about. Okay, so what we have to do is just go back here, and. Load the fuel, expedite it. I'm not going to wait. Expedite that and expedite that. Right, which means that uh, our fuel's pretty well, our fuel and cargo has all been loaded up. 
Yeah, we can push him out of the way for the moment. So we've got our external power buses on. We need to put on our start pump. And the, we can start our APU up as well, which is here. One, two. That starts it up. Okay, we've entered all our fuel and cargo, so uh, what we should next do is wait for this to, uh, uh, for the uh, APU to fire up all the way up to 100. Checking our, uh, make sure everything's here is okay, it's our enunciated panel. Basically what we'll do is we'll, we'll get on the APU very quickly, promptly and get rid of the uh, external power supply. Coming up to 100%, there we go, we've got our, uh, our uh, APU powers available, so we will put those on. And we now need the uh, fuel pump on here to feed the APU. We can now turn off the start pump and we can get rid of the external power and that means we can also dismiss the GPU. All right, we're going to set our altimeter, move him out of the way. 1008 from Q&H, which we got before. That, of course, will uh, automatically go into the backup uh, altimeter and also to the first offices. Now, before we set for the IRS, I'm just going to do a couple of quick checks here. First off, we're just going to see that our uh, windshield, windshield, wind, wind shear test should come on. Okay, that's that one. Ground proximity. Glide slope. Pull up. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Sink rate. Glide slope. Okay, stall test. Okay, uh, what I'll do too is I'll do a fire test very quickly. Turn them back off again. Fire right engine. Set to the middle there. Alright, so that's out of the way. Uh, now we can align the IRSs up here. One, two, one, two. Now uh, we may as well now jump down and complete our FMC, but before we do that, we've got to get some instrument lighting underway. So we do all this while the IRS is aligning. Clear that away. Okay, pause in it. We're at uh, whiskey, Mike, kilo, kilo. And we're going down to whiskey, India, India, India. Activate. We're going to use the company route, uh, Simbrief uh, provided for us. Enter it in there. Activate it again. Flight number, it's uh, Japan Airlines, which is J A L. And in this case, 150. Flight number. Uh, now we, we can't execute it until. Uh, it aligns, so we have to leave that uh, green light on. But let's go after perf in it. Now, because we've uh, expedited uh, loading the fuel and cargo, it's just a matter of propagating these here, like so. Uh, reserves in this case will be three. Cost index, uh, again, Sembrief doesn't give us cost index for the MD80, so it's something that one between 100. Uh, today we'll make it 20. 
Our flight level on this occasion is going to be 310. I'll make sure that that's acceptable by putting it up here. Yes, it is. Our cruise wind is uh, 082, uh, 003. And our outside temperature at that uh, height is going to be minus uh, 33 Celsius. Uh, right, transition altitude for, uh, I'm just going to look this up, transition altitude for Malaysia, when it wants to come up. It's uh, 11,000 feet. Okay, next thing, take off. Uh, outside temperature, I said, was, uh, what did I say it was? Anyway, look up here. We'll show it here. Uh, 30 degrees. And we're out 30. All right, so we've, uh, we're going to flex. So uh, to do that, drop down a bit so we can see this flex, flex uh, knob over here. And I'm going to flex it up to, say, let's go for a, a 50, 55. So we go for a 55 uh, degree flex. Okay, so that's out of the way. Right now we've got to calculate our V1 speeds. So let's slip over here quickly. We'll turn this on. Charts. MD80 speed chart. Slip back again, have a look and see what our weight, gross weight is. 141.8. Uh, so going on to 142. So one, we'll flick this over until we come to 142 or whatever's close to that. So we've got 143 or 141, we're going to have 142. I'll slip that up to 143, come in close here. And we'll see for 143, and i use flaps 11, VR 145, V2 150. 145, 150. So in this case, V1 will be 10 off that, so it'll be 135. Our departure, uh, according to uh, Active Sky, the uh, candidate runway is uh, one four left or one four right. Uh, I've uh, I've organised it for one four left. I think. Let's just go back and have a look. I'll just move that out of the way. Let's go back here. And up here, airport. Uh, whiskey, Mike, kilo, kilo, whiskey, kilo, kilo. Enter it. I'm up to date with my Navigraph, by the way. I just updated it uh, what, yesterday. So everything should be right there. Airport, taxi, 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 taxi. We're going to find an airport here, there we are. Alright, there's where we're sitting. And I think the 14 left was the recommended one, so we'll jump back. Go to the top. Go back, departure. Let's see what I've got here. I, uh, I should just go down quickly and have a look at our route. Our legs. Me toss, sukri, bow bag, and nito. Me toss sounds like something we should be looking at. And here's our me tosses here. There's an arnav. That's probably going to be the one. 1C, 1C, 1, hang on, there's quite a lot of them. Everything's mitos. Uh, we'll just see if we can work our way around that. 
and I'm going to go through all of these. Let's just uh, have a look at our route and see what we can find out here. We'll go back to departure. We're going to go at the uh, 14, uh, 1 4 left, and we'll go down and look for Mitos. There's a Mito 1 2. I reckon that's going to be it. Uh, okay, can I execute it? Yeah, our, uh, and we've got our IRS alignment, so I can execute that. Let's have a look at our modes. Alright. Do our steps, eh? Next one. Come out to five on that step. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll take us down. Bunok was the last. Good enough. Yep, looking good. Uh, what about uh, arrival? Okay, let's have a look at our arrival. When we put this in, we might have to uh, do some adjustment there. Uh, I believe it should be at zero 07. Let's go back and have a quick look here at our active sky down here. Canada based on uh, winds only is 06, 0, 0, 07 left, 07 right. Uh, I would think maybe 07 right might be the way to go here, but I'm not going to worry about that. I think I'll just uh, put in the arrival when we get down a bit further. All right, so back to the menu, back to take off, and I think now we can continue on with uh, getting the aircraft ready for departure. So the next thing we should be looking at is uh, making sure the speed bugs are right. Yep, they've uh, pulled themselves over. So once I executed that before, speed bugs uh, will automatically drop down from here to there. So they're right, got them done. Uh, next thing I think, uh, we put our HB bleed on. Gully comes on. Uh, windshield anti-fog, do we want it? No, not going to worry about it. We're in fairly warm climates. Uh, climate anti-ice has to come on, though, that's uh, for sure. Up to put our yaw damper on. Uh, logo light we're going to leave off. We don't really need that. Radio Shack Venturi fan comes on. Our cabin pressure will set that to, uh, over to cabin. Uh, everything else is going to be automatically, uh, it's going to be automatic, so don't have to worry about our cabin altitude and temperature. It's uh, all looked after. Quick down for a quick uh, fuel reset. That's down here. fuel use so we're right for that uh, hydraulic pumps I think are the next thing to come on uh, up to low set our transponder to uh, standby you yeah, know I was going to go ATC but they uh, at this particular time they're not on and, uh, and they're not on that much anyway this part of the well unfortunately but, uh, that's just one of those things Okay, so the next thing on our list, put our APU bleed on, I think, yep, that comes on now. Uh, we put one of the HB uh, bleed switches off, and we drop down to our pneumatic crossfeed, one, two. I think now we have to do something about our doors. Let's go outside and do that. That's the first off. Let's close out, uh, lift up our stair, retract the stairs, and close the door. Whoops, that's... There we go, let's close our cargo doors. 
There they go. Shouldn't need that anymore. Right, back to the top again. We've got to turn off our galley this time. And our fuel pumps can come on. Now, uh, we've just got to check, are we going to be using our centre fuel tank? I'd say there's every possibility. And we're going to be using that 5,970. So, yep, they definitely have to come on. And, of course, they'll be used up first. Uh, the other HP bleed now comes off, so they're, they're both off. We now slip down and turn our transfer pumps on. Position strobe lights come on. And of course they don't activate until we, uh, we up in the air. Our transponder comes over to XPDR. So we quick with our flight director. We can put our flight director on, both come on. Going to go for maximum bank angle, which is uh, recommended, about 15 degrees. Our heading, our runway heading in this particular case is, uh, let's have a look, I've got my chart. It's 146, not oh, that was close, it's already under 46. departure altitude um, I'm just going to set the full altitude here and just go straight up and go up to uh, uh, 5310 there we go come back come back come back come back okay and a speed uh, 250 quick climb out You can just hold that one, just put it in one spot and it just does it all for you. But then you've got to come back if you don't get it right. Now we're going to do our zero fuel reset. Uh, we come down here. In this case, zero fuel is 117873. One one seven. Uh, that's close enough. Go back to, there we go, back to the gross weight. Ah, oh, I'd say we're pretty well ready for a pushback, so let's have a look to see which way we're supposed to go. Okay, here we are. We're going to be all the way up here. It's going to be a long taxi, but anyway. So we're going to be wanting to pull the tail over to the uh, right. Right, let's get our friends that uh, had a pushback organised. Now I did say uh, to the left. I hope that's what I said. Not a very big uh, a distance there to go, but anyway. All right, Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. Okay, you can may as well start the ball rolling. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. Yeah, we're going to do our center of gravity. Uh, we're going to be flaps 11, so uh, we'll set that first here. And I think it was 8, wasn't it? Yeah, it's 8, so we slip over here a bit. And we go center gravity to eight. Flaps eleven. That's between seven and eight for the long trip, so we'll bring down our long trim controller. All right. Looks like the doors and hatches are closed, and we're ready to connect.
Welcome aboard, Captain. Toast connected. Bypass pins inserted. Go ahead and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. All right, our ignition switch goes to left or right. And we start the right engine first. And two should start to rise straight away. We can get this out of the way to just the legs. And everything's looking good. And two at 21, 22 is when we open up the uh, right fuel valve. Now we can do it now. Eh? Back up top, wait for the bus to kick in before we start the left engine. Yeah, the lift engine. There it goes. One, two. Have a look uh, outside while that's winding up. Got to dodge a lot of stuff up here, haven't I? Well, it seems to park in funny places. How are we going? 17, 18. Twenty one going on twenty two. That's that engine. Again, we've got to wait for the buses to kick out. We'll have to probably put our uh, brake on. Okay, we've got our left and right engine switch start which is going to go off. Our APU bleed egg will go off. Uh, our buses we don't need any more here on the power. Switch them off. Uh, the Just about done here, go ahead and set your parking brake. You know, you were going to ask me for that. Okay. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. And we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the right. Take it easy and have a safe flight. Thank you, sir. Timer, timer, timer can come on. Now we better check our flight controls. All the way right, all the way forward, all the way back. Get more ego. Pedals working, there we go, they're done. This fella here comes on, two, uh, transponder, we have to switch over to T R A A T A R A, and it's a direction to above. Just check to see if there's no uh, worry on the uh, enunciator here to worry about. We don't use the flight recorder, parking brake is still on as we expect. Okay, so once that goes off, we're ready to roll. Now we'll find out whether our trim's right, because if it isn't, Betty will squeal, but she's not. Now I should be looking at the, uh, at the map there to, uh, to see where we're off to. Looks like straight ahead and all the way if we just dodge these fellows.
Okay, I think there's another taxiway down. Let's have a look outside, pretty soon. Yep, one more down. You see how the cockpit just went dark on me again? I don't know why it does that. I don't know, it's a graphic thing. You know, OpenGL, or I'm using Vulcan, but I don't know why it does that. So that's why I have to put this on. Make sure our one's on here. They are, they're already on. And I'll put these on. Now the funny thing is later on it'll probably just go all bright again, so I have no idea why it does that. Uh, my uh, foot pedal is a little bit too sensitive. Match my pedals. Well, I'll do something about that. Quick look at that. See if we can keep it on the line there. Like I said, it's a long taxiway. Probably going a bit too fast. That's uh, better. Alright, we're going to hit, uh, hit the EPR ready for flex. And the other thing we do, which I've got to do and duck down to do it, is the IRT. It's got to be switched off. And it says up here the ART is inoperative, which is right because you don't want it operating uh, while you're flexing. And we can put our ignition switch to override. in a bit on that to five. Yeah, definitely going to have to adjust these uh, foot brakes, uh, foot pedals. Nearly there. I'll go to the end of the runway. And speed her up a bit. Uh oh, someone's on the road. 
on the road. Police, is it? Oh. <laughs> I wonder, could they be after me? Don't see why. Anyway, let's get our uh, landing lights on. Now that one on. And just stop here for a second, we'll put on our wing landing lights. That one on, Whoop. yep, that one on as well. And we're just about ready to Approaching, go. one, four, left. That's so a V1 is around 135. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we can hit our toga. On runway, one, four, left. And all that throttle goes on. That locks the uh, throttle controls. Yeah, air speed is alive. Coming up on 120 and 135, and we can rotate. And we've got a positive rate and gear up. Okay, angle up to about 15. When we get Caution up. terrain. Caution terrain. Caution terrain. Yeah, okay. Caution terrain. Right over 400 now, we can go to uh, nav, nav track. I wonder we can go to auto throttle on. Hit our climb. Now, yeah, what I'm going to do is so I'm going to take over the vertical speed. Now we can. Take it up about to say to the six. Let's have a look outside. Bye bye. Now we got she's going well. Let's have a look at our uh, we're still only doing 140, so let's go ahead and do our Indicated air speed, and we'll set that to 250. Now we should start to see speed come up now. Nicely, we can take out the flaps first one. And probably got a speed restriction around here too. I don't know. VKLB, uh, we can be at uh, 5,300. And uh, we can take our flaps all the way up now, as soon as we're past the 220. And the speed's now going to climb up to 250. We could, of course, have gone to Bean Have, but uh, let's get this way. Good day for flying, eh? That was an easy climb out. Wasn't going too uh, vertical speed too fast. Right now it's uh, yeah, it's uh, 2,000. Feet. Well, that's the actual uh, indicated airspeed you set there instead of the vertical speed. 
Uh, there she's up to 250, so we're climbing out nicely. And what did I say? Transition heights. Well, that's 11,000. In the meantime, we can come down here and put this fellow off. And we should also now restart, return the ART switch to on. A yeah, nice turn. Heading up to 13,000. Now we could probably now go over to, uh, let's go to the VNAV. So now we're doing a VNAV climb. Uh, the FMS uh, EPO is, is looking after everything. There's our, uh, our uh, cruising guide 310. We're on nav track for our uh, lateral navigation, VNAV for our climb. Very good. Now, as long as we have this on climb here, which we do, that'll uh, really control a lot of things. That's one thing this aircraft likes is for you to uh, follow the, uh, the procedures. Coming up 10, let's turn our lights off here, everything go off there. I think also we say to turn off our ignition switch. Now uh, we can retract our speed brake. And we're 11,000, so let's go over to um, standard uh, 113. So it changes there as well, and also for first officer. I think, I think we can do away with our um, external lights here as well. Blood lights, I'm going to leave the wing lights on here though. And uh, we can get our passengers up and about on to auto. There we go. <laughs> Good weather, all right. Look at that. Getting good frames, uh, frame rates too with uh, Vulcan. These ones down here, they're, they're the believable ones. I'm 60, 61. Uh, the one numbers you see at the top there, that's from NVIDIA game, game experience or whatever you call it. I'm, I'm, it's a bit lazy. I just left them up because I do use those in, uh, when I'm flying uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. So just watch outside, our outside temperature, still 14 degrees, so it's uh, pretty warm. I'm guessing we probably won't need to have our anti-icing on, so look ahead down here to our MFT, see what sort of distances we've got to come up. Now there's our green banana for our top of climb. Let's have a look over here and see where we're off to. Uh, well, we're finished with uh, Kuala Lumpur, all right. Have a look at our maps. Takes a 
while to organise itself there. Come on guys, pull out a bit. Oh, it's not working for some reason. Oh there it is. Finally came alive. You can see the frame rate here in the Avitab, 47, pretty well matching the one at the bottom, but that one at the top certainly, I can't figure that one out, but let's come in a bit. So I've come out of Kuala Lumpur, we will be coming down, uh, following this route down here past uh, Singapore all the way down here past Palembang and there's Jakarta there so we'll be coming in probably something like this uh, and I think if I remember right uh, 07, 0, 07 left 0 right uh, means we'll be coming in this way but we're going to look at that Let's so go back here go to airport Runway two five right two five that two five that's a beautiful two five right that's two five right two four now let's see what uh, active guys sky's got to say. 24, oh they call it 24, 25 left and 25 right. So why can't I see it right? Oh there it is all over there, okay. Should zoom out, there it is, 25 left there, 25 right. Now see we're coming down from this sort of direction. Now I'm going to see if we can uh, go for 25 right. Unic was the last waypoint we've got before we uh, enter our star. So, Unic, uh, Unic, Unic, where are you? There we go, there's Unic. It's one of these three. This is going to be for the, let's have a look and see what this one's for. Uh, that's nav 07 right, which is not what we're looking at. We're 25 right. So that's no good to us. Now what I'll do is, uh, it's 10 to see we get rid of that. Let's have a look. That was 10 to see, beauty. I get 2D. for uh, 2 5 right, so then that's the right one. So if we're coming from Gunic to here, we're going to be coming down here. So 
we're going to be coming to Bunic. This is probably the sit coming in, so we're going to have to go all the way over here. Let's just have a look at the next one in case I doubt it's going to be any better. That's the bottom one. That's rolled 24, that's no good to us, we don't want that. So that looks like it. Okay. Let's see how we're going for uh, that. Just got a way to go before we get to uh, top of climb. be able to do stuff with this so let's have a look at this we'll go for the 25 right it's the ILS 25 right there's the Buni 2H that might be the one we we'll execute that have a look at that LX look for our discos so our cap fix that one, final approach fix, and we'll put him in, execute it, and we'll have a look. Let's get our range down a bit, say to five, and our mode. There we go, PKP, Boslo, Punic, Mamel, Nocta. Looks like it's taking us into 25, and there's the missed approach coming up to the right and going back to knocked up. Good. We're in business. We're set. Here's our Nocta that we saw before. And we're coming out around. Now we're coming from Nocta, we'd be gonna we're gonna be going over to Pryoc after 3000. Uh, that's probably gonna be the uh, approach altitude. I don't know if it's down to two two thousand. Now we're gonna have decision heights here. We can put this in later, we don't have to do it right away. It's just uh, getting an idea of what's happening. Alright. Now because we're coming up to flight level 310, which is our cruising height, when we get there I'll just put this on uh, pause and then we'll uh, restart the, uh, the recording when we're getting close to uh, top descent at the other end.
a bit of a slow climber this one. It, um, it might race off uh, the ground on a, on a deep uh, departure, but uh, when it gets higher, it just plods along and takes its time. So we've got our uh, speed at uh, Mac uh, 0.75. Uh, pretty close to the mark, which is just uh, close to 300 knots. What's our ground speed? There's a ground speed 447. Now, uh, one thing too that we picked up in the past about the Mad Dog is uh, when you get down to 10,000 feet, that ground speed disappears. I don't know why, but that's one of those little quirks. We've got to watch our uh, centre tank already. You can see it's, it's way down. So by the time we get up to cruising height, it's probably going to be ready to uh, turn off the pumps for, that, uh, for the centre tank. Outside temperature. Minus 13. Yep, I'm not going to worry about uh, anti ice at this stage. So we're looking outside. Yeah, it's about 15 knots. Yeah, we're pretty safe. Shouldn't say that, should I? Famous last words. But I think we're right. You can see that cockpit is a little bit brighter than it was before, but I'll, I'll leave them on. And we're 744 on the um, center tank. Um, I would say by the time we hit that cruise height, it'll be time to turn that pump off. is not on yet, so it'll come on in a minute. I think as soon as this gets down to about 400, I think we'll see the uh, warning come on up here. Okay, that's cruising height. So what we do here is we uh, flick the PR over to uh, cruise, and we set our uh, transponder direction to normal, and that's all we really have to do. There, uh, there is an engine sync up here, but you only use this if you uh, you've got. Uh, Dual, throt uh, dual throttles on your, your dual throttle controls, but uh, mine's only a single, so it's, it's uh, quite irrelevant. 
just wait a second, we should see that um, that enunciated um, tell us we need to uh, turn the pump off. It's getting very close, sunny, 340 in there. So basically the, um, the centre tank uh, gave all the fuel from um, uh, from departure all the way up to cruise level. You got your little uh, light control under here for your Bear shield panel, see that? One on the right and doesn't seem to do anything. Oh yes it does, yeah it does. That's just to dim the numbers see. Getting close now. I think when it gets down about forty or something like that. Really burns through it here. So we're out of the forty now. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's gonna there we go. Okay, go, so it just told us that fuel uh, centre. Your tank pressures are low, so maybe don't need them anymore. Turn them off. Okay, well it's now flight level through on zero. Like I said, I'll uh, I'll uh, put this recording on pause and come back when we're getting close to uh, top of descent. Okay, you guys, I should be back, I hope. Uh, I unpaused that uh, recording. So here we are. It um, come out close to the top of descent. In fact, we're only, uh, we're only 11 nautical miles uh, from there. So what I'm going to do, of course, is I've got to set in our, our approach uh, altitude. I'll take it all the way down to 2,000, I think. Instead of doing it in steps, we don't have um, the ATC on here, so uh, and drop it down to 2000. There we go, just about done. Any moment now, we should uh, start the descent.
and our throttles come back which we will match okay we're off down to uh, the legs legs that's better push the wrong one there okay we're down to uh, heading off down to Bunix. 20, 20 nautical miles and it's by level 236. Transition height for uh, Indonesia is the same as Malaysia, 11,000. Let's have a quick look at our uh, active sky to see that there's been no change in the weather. Okay, no oh, here's a bit of a difference here. It's 1009 now. Now we've got our, uh, got our Q and H's in uh, inches as well, which comes in handy because I have to uh, go up here and put in the uh, landing barometer uh, uh, the landing barometer in inches so that was uh, 2977 uh, I'm not going to worry about the uh, landing altitude because it's uh, say 26 feet so it'll be worth worrying about That'll be about as close as I'm going to get. Okay, now we've set our, uh, our cabin, cabin temperature. And in the EPR now we switch back to climb mode, even though it's descending. Transponder, uh, sorry, our uh, transponder direction goes to below. So we put our uh, seat belt sign on. Not much to see at this altitude, so. Uh, we get down below the clouds. See our green bananas telling us where we are going to, I don't know, won't be quite that far back, it's going to have to be a bit uh, further along, but that'll adjust itself. <coughs> now, I've already set in our uh, ILS uh, frequency up here. And our course to the uh, runway. And what I might also do very quickly is put the heading over to the same in case we've got to uh, go around to 247. Okay, that's set. Now, just looking at the uh, Decision height. Two hundred and ninety feet for the ILS, and I've already set that. Uh, what's it? Two ninety. I've already set it in the uh, 
or two under here, it's over to two, 290. Let's just take that out a bit to 20 nautical miles. And there's the course uh, for the missed approach coming back and see we've got a holding pattern there. Watch our speed. Uh, it's still 270 for a while. It's not until we get down to uh, knocked, knocked uh, that we need to be looking at 240 knots. And that's another, another 23, so 20 nautical miles to go. It'll be 240 after that, and then by the time we get down to Pryok, it should be 190. Now yeah, we'll see if we can get away without using the speed brake, but we'll find out. Like I said earlier, you'll probably notice that at uh, 10,000 feet that uh, ground speed indicator will probably uh, give way, just disappear. So now we've got about uh, 9 nautical miles down to uh, 11,000 or above. And if it doesn't start to drop down uh, by the time we pass Nocturne and we're heading for Rambu, I'll uh, probably use the speed brake. Now the one thing about the MD-80, it's uh, you can virtually throw your uh, flaps out at uh, outlandish speeds. For example here you can go flaps 11 at 280 knots, flaps 15 at 240. We've never done it. Uh, the slat extension you can go uh, 280 knots and 240 knots for full flap, uh, full slat extension. And look at this, gear down 300. Wouldn't be too many aircraft you could put it down at 300. We try and avoid that anyway. Okay, coming up down to 11,000. over to 1009. Bit of a turn. Yeah, that's all ocean under there still, so be a little while before we're getting close to the coast. Eleven. Let's go with zero zero one zero zero nine. And we can put on out. On our well landing lights. And ignition. No, ignition can go to on. Both. Hydraulic pumps, you know, time to put them back on again. 
to transfer pumps. Now we should be starting to slow. 240. Not yet, okay. We'll give it a bit of a help along. See that? Alright. Won't make life hard for you there. It's coming down here. It's nearly 240, so we're doing okay. Right, next waypoint, Rambu. We've got to be at uh, 7,000. So we're going to make it, and then it's a little uh, further along to Priak, which is uh, 14 nautical miles, and we're going to be down to about 3,000. So our speed uh, will be coming down. We're probably not going to uh, need the speed brake anymore after this. I think we can do it quite well with uh, just our flaps and our uh, slats. In fact, what I might do now, kind of, it uh, doesn't hurt. It's, uh, let's take our uh, first, uh, our f put our slats out. So we're coming down to 190. That's a fair way to come down. Should start to see something out there too. No. No. Might be better outside there. Already down to 4,500, already starting to pick up the uh, ILS, the local ILS. doesn't want to slow down. I'll help it. Yeah, it's coming down. Yeah, we're going to be at our initial uh, our approach, initial approach fix soon. Yeah, we're coming down. Speed's dropping nicely. Okay, we can take our first one flaps. And I must turn this off. Autopilot. I uh, hit that accidentally. Uh, let's have a look. Let's put that back on again. Take our 
think the little flaps that should bring us down to uh, 11. We're nearly at our decision height here. Uh, sorry, not our decision height, our approach altitude. Down to 180. When did I set that at? 85. Let's have a look. Now we can drop out here. And down to 175. How far have we got to go? Are we just about ready to line up? It's still about 10 miles out. There's five, five there. They're roughly about 10 miles out. Speed 175. We should start to pick up the uh, ILS soon. Here we go now. It goes the localizer. And we're going to be leveling off. Yeah, you can't see much out there, can we? Flats 15. Should be starting like, see if we can get the uh, localizer to take over here. There's our out runways up in front. Now we're getting a bit of a buffet in here. Uh, now the ILS is coming down. We're pretty well there, right with the uh, localizer. Okay, on with that. We should see uh, captured here in a minute. There it is, glide slope. We can come down all the way to flaps 28. And let's set out. Auto brake ready, and we can drop our speed down to our approach speed, which uh, V rev was say 145. So already, uh, we're set up for the approach. We've got uh, gear down, three green, flaps, two eight. One thousand. Check. Auto brake is set. Approaching two five right. My aircraft. Autopilot. Let's get that nose down a little bit. Four hundred. Three hundred. Yeah, a little bit of a crosswind there, maybe. 200. A little bit low. 100. 50. 40. 30. We'll try and get 20, that center line. 10. Oh, I'm just going to. Whoa, that's a, not a very good landing there. Take it down gently. 10. Long landing, wasn't it? Wasn't the best. 
No, just let it slow down. And we can turn it off here. Could have been better. Yeah, I messed that up a bit. cut back on the throttles. That's why she wanted to keep going. Okay. Let's clear things up here a bit. See our ignition switch can come off. That fellow can come off. Having a landing lights and things off. And that position light comes to up here. Turn off our flight directors too. And of course we better start up this fellow. That's bond up. Make sure that, that did I retract that speed brake? So let's go and find a place. Let's come up. Welcome to Jakarta. Probably some uh, gates over to our right on I don't know whether this is uh, auto gate territory or sand. Let's see what happens. Let's go this way. Must be some sort of turn off here somewhere. No, it just takes the thing. Straighten her up.
and that should be about right. Let's have a look. Yep. A little bit more. That's it. Get that brake on. And there we are. Right, we're going to need the APU power. I think that it's get rid of the nose light. Not that anybody was there to greet us. HP bleed comes off. Fuel, stop our engines. All the fuel pumps come off except this one here. It feeds the APU and our hydraulic pumps. They come back to low and the transfers come off. And collision lights come off. Yeah, better let the passengers jump up. Alright. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get a air bridge coming over. Alright, let's see how bad that was. Kick myself for that. Uh, I didn't pull back the uh, throttle. Just wanted to keep going. We'll keep going. Let's go and have a look. Well, I got the approach right. Speed up a bit. Yeah, it's doing all right up to here, and then yeah, up, up, up. Now I realise that I had to pull the throttle all the way back. Didn't want to sit down. Yeah, that's right. And there come the inverses. Yeah, I was fired according to this. Well, at least I did go at the end of the runway. That's okay. Better come back. There we go. Now that should be. Oh shit, too. Let's have a look. Yeah. That wasn't good. There we go. Definitely would have been fired for that. You can see it hadn't, hadn't pulled the throttles back and I still hadn't engaged the, uh, the reverses until well down the strip.
definitely not one of my better ones, but I'd better start looking for a job somewhere else, I think. Yeah, it's gone real foggy, isn't it? Anyway, I think that's about it. I shut the aircraft down after, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, those of you who've uh, watched it, I hope uh, it's a little bit entertaining, particularly that uh, last bit. Should change that now to uh, rubber ball airlines or something like that. Again, thanks uh, to those you've watched, and uh, I'll see you next time. See ya.